Hello there and welcome to the Crypto in Focus this week on this channel. We want to use this to bring to crypto lovers the crypto currencies that we are focusing on this week. And some of them we might even drop signals in the course of the week. And some premium signals we drop in our trading room and you can join us. Okay, so if this is your first time, on this channel, I want to sincerely appreciate you and for all the subscribers. Merci beaucoup. Gracias. All right, so quickly we get down to it. Remember to subscribe, like, and share the video, and also smash the notification bell to get notified as soon as I upload the next important video for the week. So, this week, the instruments, the crypto currencies we are going to be focusing on one, we are going to be using Bitcoin as a yardstick. So, what happens is that for some of the crypto that we will focus on, we will use uh, their correlation with Bitcoin to bring them to you. So but for this week, being the very first we are bringing on this channel, we are going to just deal with Bitcoin, Peppercoin, and we we'll probably also check on dogs that was just released um, a few weeks ago. Okay, so let's go. And we are using TradingView as our analysis tool. Okay, so this is Bitcoin and uh, this Bitcoin versus USDT, Tita. So we have uh, the weekly charts up here for us. And in the past two weeks now, Bitcoin had been going down. And in the last week, it recorded a lower low and a lower high, suggesting that it might still go down this week. And where it is at currently, today being Monday morning, uh, it's trying to push up, but we won't just take it for that, uh, take it for it the way it is. We're going to look at a couple, a couple of factors. Uh, we're going to consider a couple of factors. So, we just know on the weekly time frame, uh, Bitcoin is bearish, right? So, we will now go back to our daily time frame and, and then look at what is happening there. From there, we'll now go to four hours and pick our entries for this week. So on the daily time frame, it is still bearish, though trying to recover. However, how long can it go? How far can it go rather? Now, if you notice that you see that there is a moving average here, and that is the SMA 9, simple moving average 9, and uh, where it is now, price might get to this by around 56,000 and come down, back down. But we are not taking that for it. So we just watch it as it's going up. Okay. So if you are if you are bullish on BTC, you can use BT, DC, DCA, that's dollar cost averaging at this point to be buying Bitcoin, considering that this is a halving year, and uh, from all indications, the probability is still there that from October. We might begin to witness some bullish surge in Bitcoin. Nobody knows, but there's a possibility that Bitcoin might cross eighty thousand dollars this year. That's just a prediction, okay? But then let's. So I'm speaking in this regard because of those who are using DCA, that's dollar cost averaging. So you can keep on buying your Bitcoin, okay? Uh, using the DCA strategy. Okay, so now let's check the four hours time frame and then make our inference. So on four hours, the structure here is bearish. You can see, consider it from here, is bearish. So this week we are looking at uh, a structure that is bearish, but then on the Considering the moving average, he just crossed this above this moving average. So we are going to now work on something now. So we are going to bring in the Fibonacci retracement tool. And as we bring in this tool now, what we are going to do is that we are going to, sorry, let me delete it first and move this market. Okay. okay so we are going to use the Fibonacci tool and we are plotting it like it's a bearish market that we can see based on the on the right four from here 
the all the way down here so we will plot that just connect that okay so okay all right so what we have here now see 50 percent here that's around 58,000. so this week we are looking at if bit uh, btc usdt rises all the way here to 60,000. so we are looking at 58,000 for sell 60,000 for sell so btc might get to this point 50, it may get to 58 and 60,000 this this week and if it gets there you might want to sell particularly at 60,000. do you understand so that's just the best i can give you on the btc at 60,000 this week you may want to sell and of course that sell don't hold on to it for so long just pick uh, you know a few points maybe down back to uh, maybe 57 56 and then we can find retracement to now push up because if we plot this same Fibonacci let me remove it from here um, let's let, let's switch it to daily so you already know watch out for 58,000 and 60,000 so if we what what work, work on it on the daily time frame let's see we are also going to use the fall from here that's at around 68 69,000 to this place to 49,000 and if we work with that or take it to here I think we still have 71,000 if we run with that let's run with this let's run with the let's run with the six seven okay that's seventy thousand here yeah let's run with seventy thousand okay so if we run with that then we'll see we'll be looking at the within this month of september btc could rise all the way all the way let's let, I, I need to see this let's create a space for it okay yeah it could rise all the way to 66,000 this month yes it may rise up to 60 60 did I say 62,000 yes 62,000 before another sell probably before it now picks up to push further or bet within this month of September we are looking at it trading within the range of 70,000 and this 49,000 and another sell for this month bigger sell will be from 62,000 from 62,000 yes and you want to really watch out for that on BTC okay so that's the clue you have for BTC next we'll check Pepe So for Pepe, we will still trade it on, check it on Binance. All right. So now with Pepe, okay. So Pepe and GBUSD tend to relates directly so what is happening to GBP, to bitcoin btc right did i say gbp bitcoin btc all right so with what we saw with btc we are likely to see with pepper coin pepper usdc so we we'll just run with the same formula okay so you have on the daily this is a bearish structure here so we can actually run from here let's switch okay so so we we are looking at within the month of september pepper coin might touch this place 0 
0.00105, considering the fall from 0 0.00. 001344 okay so all the way to this place here at 0 0.00000577 so based on that that's 0590 okay so based on that we there's a likelihood of pepe coin uh, versus usdt rising to this place and that would be very good for those who have bullish positions on pepe coin and i am banking on this that it could happen within the month all right but then if it doesn't happen let's check for hours and see what we can expect within the week so on four hours is really it's really not trending at all so but then we can create something out of nothing with this so let's still use this as a yardstick so we will run with the, the fall from here to this low here a flat market indeed so we can run with it from there okay so based on that let's see okay all right so based on that we see pepe reaching 0 0.00000850 within the week yes this this rise that is happening now my cpp touching it might even touch 0, 901 i even touch 901 if it doesn't even go to retest the high here that's the high recorded on the 24th of august you get it so we are likely to see pepe coin following bitcoin rising all the way here so you want to watch out so if you if you if you if you know if you love pepe coin you may want to move some funds to pepe now you can do swapping all right you can just swap or you can do spot trade. if you're doing spot trading then you want to watch out for a sell around 0 0.00000850 yes around that place you can sell pepe and take some profits back around this place at uh, 700 or 720 that'll be good profit okay so but you'll be watching out for any signals that will make that may come out from this and actually in my telegram channel I'm likely going to be dropping them there. So you want to check in the description of this video and get a link to my Telegram channel where you can be getting regular updates and support and of course the signals. Okay, so I think this is the much I can say today. We are going to build up this and then start bringing our crypto watch of the week from next week. Thank you very much. I appreciate you so much. Subscribe, please. Like and share the video. And let's see in the next. Thank you and God bless you.